What is going on, Radar Force? Today we are going to cover uh, Dragon Ball Super uh, Seasons 1 through 10, DVD and Blu-ray. And uh, I was originally going to do these into two videos, the DVDs and the Blu-rays, but they're really the same thing. So I'm just going to cover them all here. Uh, it might be slightly a longer video because I'm going to cover everything to do with these. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and straighten that down because there are a lot of fakes of the DVDs. And... Uh, See how these are straight lined, basically? It's a little unlevel right now because of the uh, way I'm sitting things. But yeah, the fakes, sometimes these bars will be like jagged. They give away that you have a fake DVD. I pre-ordered all of mine when they first came out, so I know mine are legit. Uh, the Blu-rays, it's harder to fake because they have like a foil tint on the uh, Dragon Ball Super logo. And on the front, you can see different. I'm going to get into that earlier, but I just wanted to note that right now since I have them all out. But yeah, if you have the DVD sets and you bought them for like $40 for all 10 of them, you you have a fake copy, more than likely. Uh, but you can tell by the dead giveaways on these. If these are not basically on par with each other, if if, if one is if one looks like this, like that drastic, you got a fake. So just double check that. Uh, we are going to get into the DVDs first, so let's hop right into that. Okay, and here we have uh, Season 1 of Dragon Ball Super. Uh... Goku God form on the front here. Um, these are super clean. Um, they are not the most, the DVDs are not the highest quality uh, releases here. But yeah, that's what you get what you get with DVDs. They start cutting corners with these daggone DVD cases, with, like making them flimsy. Uh, here's the case. Um, <clears throat> these are all a, a two disc set. You have your episode list here, like Dragon Ball Z Kai. You got your disc one. And disc two here. Uh, this is episode one through thirteen. Uh, moving on to season two, and I am going to kind of go quickly on these because, there's, like I said, not much to note on these except there is a lot of fakes of the DVD versions with the uh, with the spine. They carry it, they put them too high for some reason. Uh, uh, part two, season two, whatever you want to call it. I'll, I'll call them part two. It's my, my mistake. They're parts, not seasons. Uh, episode fourteen through twenty-six. Golden Frieza on the front. <clears throat> and here we have uh, the DVD casing uh, basically the same as saw before episode list disc 1 and disc 2 resurrection F and moving right along we have part 3 episodes 27 to 39 This is where Dragon Ball Super started getting good. I actually enjoyed the Universe 7 vs. Uh, 6 tournament. And your DVD case here. Episode list, disc 1. We got Kaba. Kaba, how you want to call his name? And Hit. On the discs. Alright, uh, part 4. We got Future Trunks with a blue hair design. Leave a like in the comment below if you leave a like on this video if you actually uh, like Dragon Ball Super. This is my least favorite arc in Dragon Ball Super just because I thought it was the manga did it very better. The uh, Zamasu arc uh, manga did it way better. I didn't like how Trunks got the win on it. Like obviously Trunks had no chance against that guy, but he somehow won. Whatever. Uh, you got your episode list. Disc one, we got Kid Trunks and uh, my kid form. All right, part five, we got Goku Black. Decent artwork, not my favorite. My favorite is, is coming up soon. All right, we got your DVD casing. Episode list, you got Future Trunks and uh, Future Mai. Give it. <laughs> Same as the other one, except adult versions. Uh, debatably, probably the worst cover for Dragon Ball Super. I just, I, I hated the, I hated the, the, uh, whatever you call this guy, the, uh, weird looking deformity, which is Zamasu and whatever, Zamasu Fusion. I, I just never cared for this guy. It was it was super boring. The manga did it way better. Just read if you haven't read the manga, read the manga in this arc and you will agree with me. 
<clears throat> Here is the DVD case. We got the episode list. We got Zeno, probably future Zeno. And Goku, is that Goku? That's Vegito. Excuse me, I did not see the earring. Uh, we got Vegito. And I hated that they did Vegito and it only lasted like five minutes. Uh, Mystic Gohan from the Terminal Power arc. Uh, this is where things get great in the Super arc. Uh, part 7, if I didn't say that. Episode 79 to 91. Uh, I Now, I read the manga all the way through. Uh, the anime did way better on the Tournament of Power arc than the manga, in my opinion. Uh, so it kind of... I think the anime did better in the... Actually, I'll, I'll get my opinions in, in the end. Uh, here's the episode list. Disc 1, Super, uh, Super 17, 17, and TN. Uh, this this artwork, I really dig. Uh, Khalifa, Super Saiyan 2, give it. Uh, part 8, episodes 92 to 104. <clears throat> We got the episode list, and we got Kale in Berserker mode, <laughs> uh, Broly, and we got this chick's name, which I forgot, forgive me, uh, Powerpuff Girl looking chick, I forgot her name, it's on the tip of my tongue though, but I forgot, Couldn't, I could not stand that episode, but you know, whatever, and we have part 9 uh, with Jared on the cover, part 8 and 10 are my favorite artworks. And the Blu-ray counterpart to make them look even more beautiful. Oh, this one I actually have sealed, so I don't have the uh, cover, uh, the disc for you on the uh, DVD counterpart. Uh, but yeah, here's part nine. I kept, I kept the, uh, I pre-ordered all of these, but I kept the, I decided to keep the, the last two DVDs sealed because I'm like, why would I ever watch the DVDs when they have the Blu-ray? So I kept my part ten sealed as well. Uh, we have Ultra Instinct on the front here. Looks dope. Uh, you'll see why the Blu-ray looks better in a minute. <clears throat> and I kept it sealed, like I said. Turn it power. And that is it for the um, DVD parts of Dragon Ball Super 1 through 10. Now we're moving on to the Blu-ray. Okay, and here we have... <clears throat> and here we have Dragon Ball Super Part 1 Blu-ray. And as you can tell... It's probably a little bit different to your eyeballs right now. Uh, the front cover and the Dragon Ball Super logo, I would call it has a hollow foil to it, I guess. Um, <clears throat> as you can see right here, as you can see right here, as you can see right here, it slightly looks different. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> I, I don't think there's any fake Dragon Ball Super Blu-rays out there because of that fact. Uh, and the actual Dragon Ball Super logo out here, if I can actually get some good light on it, is as well, as you can see right, see right there. And we have the back. <clears throat> and I have all of my uh, Blu-rays open. Here's the casing. Uh, two discs. The episode list is actually behind a disc, which I find stupid. But yeah, you got Goku and Beerus here. And that is it for uh, part one of the Blu-ray. And now to part two of Dragon Ball Super uh, Blu-ray. And as you can see, it's got the, the foil. Uh, same for the uh, Super logo. And that basically will be all the way through to the end. <clears throat> <clears throat> and we have the Blu-ray disc here. Uh, we got uh, Vegeta and Golden Frieza. Same as the DVDs. Uh, uh, disc art wise um, you can definitely tell that the quality of the Dragon Ball Super Blu-rays are uh, in a higher quality slip cover wise and case wise uh, here we have Vegeta SS blue and it got it the foil makes the hair look great uh, in my opinion Uh, we got Cavern and Hit once again. Gonna roll through these kind of quick since we've seen the uh, DVDs already, except for part nine and ten, which I uh, will cover at the end of this video. 
All right, everybody's favorite uh, future guy. We got future trunks here. This one, the hollow doesn't stand out as much, but it is there. Same of the spine and all that good stuff. <clears throat> here we have the disc uh, here. We got Kid Trunks and Kid My. And now to everybody's least favorite uh, arc in Dragon Ball Super, the Goku Black arc. Now, I actually liked the Goku Black idea, but I just don't like how they... I don't like the Zamasu side of things, but, you know, whatever. Uh, here we have the disc. Uh, future Trunks and Future Mai. And the worst villain, uh, debatably ever, uh, merged Zamasu with the def deformation, uh, not deformation, uh, deformity, uh, part six. Uh, this one does have a good hollow, I'd say, uh, especially with the sword and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, the the last uh, part eight and part ten just look beautiful with the hollow, which I was going to get into. Zeno and Vegeta. On that uh, disc. Moving right along to part seven with the old Mystic Gohan. This one actually looks good with the hollow too. Doesn't stand out as much since it's just orange, but I like it. And we have the God, open up uh, the disc. We got uh, 17 and TN Shin Han. Uh, debatably the best arc in Dragon Ball, the TN Shin Han arc. Well, actually, Piccolo, King Piccolo arc was probably the, the best arc of Dragon Ball, but God, the TN Shin Han arc was freaking insane. Uh, probably, debatably one of the best cover arts right here in the in the Blu ray. We got Kefla, Kefla, not Kefla, Khalifla, Super Saiyan 2. God, it looks so good with the hollow, like the lightning bolts and the hair. And, you know, Khalifa. What? Anyways, yeah, Super Saiyan 2, uh, Khalifa on the front cover there. Looks good in the Blu-ray uh, holographic cover there. Uh, the Blu-ray disc case, I mean. And we got uh, Kale and uh, Jigglypuff right there. Uh, now part nine, debatably one of the most lamest um, cover arts ever. I just not a big fan of Jiren on this cover, um, but yeah, looks all right with the fall on the, on the, his blast here. And we have the Blu-ray casing with the DVDs that we did not get to see, or Blu-rays that we did not get to see with the uh, DVD version. We got Top and ooh, what's this guy's name? I forgot his name. Uh, leave it in the comment below. Uh, Beerus number two, speed guy, super fast dude. I'm the fastest in the universe. Berta, the fastest in the universe. Not anymore, Ber 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 Berta. And to the best, uh, part 10, the best holographic cover ever is the Ultra Instinct one. It just looks so sick with the, with the hollow cover on the Ultra Instinct. Oh, the, just the hair and everything comes out good with it. Uh, part 10, uh, let's sit here. I also have this one open so we get to see the disc, which is probably just going to be Ultra Instinct Goku and probably Jiren. Uh, here's the casing. So, yeah, we got Jiren and Ultra Instinct Goku here. Looking super magnificent there. And uh, I don't know when, if, if or when they do Dragon Ball Super 2 or continue, you know, to the Moro arc in the anime. If they keep this uh, Dragon Ball Super, like if they move it to part 11 or whatever and keep the style. If they change up the style of the spine, I'm going to be upset because, like, it's like they did with Kai. They did the final chapters, they did the season sets, and, it, and the spine arc didn't match up with the final chapters to the parts as well. If they change it up, I'm going to be upset. They better keep this scheme so it looks like it's one full continuity of one uh, show, Dragon Ball Super. But they'll probably screw it up, and it's not just not going to match. It's going to be like Dragon Ball Super 2, and it's just going to be like Part 1 again. Nah, it better be Part 11. Continue the thing, Funimation. Don't be stupid. Anyways, a little rant there. And I was going to mention earlier while I was in here. <clears throat> uh, 
I prefer Dragon Ball Super. I'm just going to keep the Blu-rays out here since I have them in my hands here. Um, I was going to say, uh, if you, the best way to watch Dragon Ball Super all the way through is I would definitely watch Battle of Gods, the movie, not Dragon Ball Super. Resurrection F, the movie. Then I'd watch the anime version of the Universe 6 and Universe 7 uh, art. I'd read the manga for the uh, Goku Black art, and I'd watch the anime for uh, the Termin of Power arc. And then, then obviously watch the Broly movie, and then re read the manga for more of, as of now. But yeah, I was just going to say that, because I just don't like the uh, Goku Black uh arc in the anime and obviously I prefer the movies for Battle of Gods and Resurrection Death over the anime but yeah that's just what I say how to the best way to watch it the most interesting way but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe uh, for more videos if you have any ideas of other product reviews you want me to review let me know and I'll definitely do that uh, anyways until then guys take care and I'll see you guys on the next one